What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Cosmatch Wrestling Recap. With WrestleMania Backlash less than 48 hours away, we had a pretty good SmackDown, so let's get right into this thing. SmackDown kicking off with the Queen Charlotte Flair taking on Aaliyah after Aaliyah beat her in a two-minute challenge last week. Aaliyah looking to make her record against Charlotte Flair 2-0. However, before this match could get underway, a pissed-off Charlotte Flair attacked Aaliyah before the bell, causing Ronda Rousey to run down to the ring to make the save as the two brawled ringside with referees having to pull them apart. The number one contender for the SmackDown Women's Championship, Ronda Rousey looking strong to end the segment. This certainly got me hyped up for their match at WrestleMania Backlash. I think it's going to steal the show, and I think we might see a new SmackDown Women's Champion. Up next, we saw a dream match of sorts, as Shayna Baszler took on the boss, Sasha Banks, in a one-on-one -on -one match. With Shayna Baszler looking to build momentum for her and Natalya to make a run for those SmackDown Women's Championships. Of course, with both their tag team partners ringside, we had to know something fishy was going to happen, and that is exactly what happened, as Natalia helped Shayna Baszler pick up the win with a roll-up. This was a great match between two game women superstars, and if we see these two teams face off for the SmackDown Women's Tag Team Championships, I'm certainly here for it. This then brought us to a shit segment of Happy Talk, with Happy Corbin introducing his guest, Madcap Moss. This added no value to the show and really added no hype for their build-up for their match, at WrestleMania Backlash, with Corbin leaving the ring in the middle of the segment, all we saw was Madcap cracking dad jokes. After this disappointing segment was over, we saw Drew Gulak take on Gunther in a squash match. With Gunther just throwing him around the ring like a rag doll, one thing's for sure, Drew Gulak is going to be sore in the morning. Seeing this dominance out of Gunther really got me excited for his potential on SmackDown, as we need another monster heel on Friday Night SmackDown because Roman Reigns cannot carry all the heel heat. Heading next, we saw the never-ending feud continue as we saw Sheamus and Rich Holland take on the New Day in a tables match. However, this was arguably the best match for these two teams in this rivalry, with Kofi Kingston in particular showing out for the match as he looked to secure the win for his team. Looking to have the win all wrapped up, unfortunately Butch made his way down to the ring after weeks of us wondering where he was, helping the heels pick up the victory. After that banger of a match, we saw the final vignette for Lacey Evans play over the Jumbotron before she made her way down to the ring. With the crowd giving her a decent pop, it'll be interesting to see how the WWE books her for the future, as we definitely need some top women superstars on SmackDown to battle for that championship. This then brought us to a match between Sami Zayn and Shinsuke Nakamura. After weeks of Sami Zayn trying to suck up to the bloodline and Roman Reigns, it was kind of good to see Sami Zayn get his ass kicked by Shinsuke Nakamura early in this match. Of course, Sammy pulled his normal shenanigans, attempting to run away from the match like he's done for the past few weeks on SmackDown, suckering Shinsuke into chasing him, allowing Sami Zayn to run back to the ring to pick up the win via countout. This then brought us to our main event segment of the night, the RK Bros and Drew McIntyre having a face-off with Roman Reigns and the Usos. What could have been an exclamation point to top off this feud heading into Backlash kind of fell flat because we had mere moments left in the show. By the time the Usos and Roman Reigns made their way down to the ring, we had a short brawl before we faded to black to end the show. I really feel like this segment should have been longer, especially if you're trying to build up Roman Reigns versus Drew McIntyre in the future. Well, guys, that was it for an entertaining episode of SmackDown. Let me know what you thought about the show. Always like, comment, and subscribe. And Matthew and I will see you Tuesday for a Monday Night Raw recap. Peace out. Come on and fight back.